Nazi and all that stuff. I mean, there are they are into spirituality, but they don't understand it. So man, there are many Christians. If you use the word spirituality, you are condemned. Yes, or if you use the word meditation, you might be condemned. Yeah. But what 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 is it? I I mean, praying is a type of meditation. Yeah. Very clearly, and people, for example, you, um, praying the rosary. Yeah. It's like reciting a mantra. Yeah. And, it's and, exactly and, the you same know, meditation way. is just focus. That's what meditation means. It means focusing on something. And if they are reciting their Bible and looking into it, they are meditating on the Bible. Look, um, Marcus Aurelius's meditations, it's just his thoughts, which he was contemplating deeply and wrote stuff down. Okay, uh, this this part I would more call, um, name, I would say it's more philosophy. Well, you see, so, it, it, again, if you, if you look up these words, then you see that these words mean a whole myriad of things. Look at meditation when we finish this, and, and you'll see that it says, well, meditation in philosophy, meditation in psychology, meditation in spirituality, uh, meditation, you know, in, in just regular parlance. They've all got different words. They've all got different meanings. Okay. All words are shapeshifters. But, 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 okay, but this is very wide definition of the meaning of word meditation um well originally the, the word just meant to concentrate meant to meditate. Meant, okay, okay and that's what so, we do when we actually close our minds we you know initially we concentrate on a mantra don't we we concentrate on not allowing thoughts in so we concentrate in on something when we get very versed in meditation we don't concentrate we we we, we can just eliminate the words and then we just sit and dwell in the nothingness um, that's what I do all the time. I don't, um, I, I've never got on with mantras. I never really needed to use them. The, this, the, the day I started to meditate, I was just a natural at it. I just closed it down and it felt great. And it was exciting because I was exploring because you explore in there. And then all of a sudden, poof, 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 all different thoughts come. And it's like, wow, where did that come from? Oh, my God, I've got to talk about that. And then, you know, the, the, the payoff is it's so beautiful. It's so nurturing, so nourishing to have that relationship with yourself, with the cosmos. I mean, I, the, the, the Christian dogmatic, you know, stance is anything outside of their dogma is evil and that's what they've been indoctrinated with and that's why you can't say meditation you can't say spirit you can't say uh, philosophy you, you can't say psychology no 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 they're not looking at none of that they're just reading and believing every single word that that says but they don't even know what uh, context to read it in that's why those idiots have to go to a pastor for him to interpret it to them because they can't do it on their own well, it's well, it's human psyche. Yes, yeah. It's it's just it's just human people. Have, they are vulnerable. They have weaknesses. They have fear. Yes, lot as a, mainly, I guess um, Christians isolate themselves out of fear. Mm -hmm. This, I mean, you said, why do you have fear? If you ha really have something, no one can take it away from you. Yeah. But that's the point. They don't really have it. They don't have it. No, because it, they're, they, they just, they know, they, they feel it. I mean, if you talk to a Christian too, too, if you have a talk that is too good, you go too deep, then many get insecurities. Yes. Yes, and then they feel like drowning in the flood. Like, oh no, yeah. no, no, no! Stop, stop, stop! I go, I go. Yeah, it's like this is too much because I, um, I fear to to get aside. And these people are of course um, dependent. I mean, the sects are dependent because they are addicted to their community. Yeah, yeah. And relationships. Imagine the the Jehovah's Witnesses. For them, it's a huge deal to to get out of this community possibly because they are so narrowly uh, related to the people mm. so if if they go aside 
then they they have the most horrible consequences yeah. for their life. And they lose the cold. The cold. There's the no way to let them leave. And and yeah. you see, in my book, you you come upon a section where I'm dissecting belief and faith, and uh, I will tell you how I investigated both of those words. How I asked a score of Christians and three pastors to explain to me the difference between belief and faith and what they both meant. And I, I, I met an impasse every single time. Uh, I discovered uh, the length and breadth of those concepts myself through my psychology, my psychoanalysis, and my philosophy, uh, compiled with my spirituality. I got to the bottom of, of what they are, and I tell people about it in the book, and it's a shocking revelation to Christians they wouldn't want to ever hear it because what it, 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 it flaunts in their face is that their whole dream is premised on fiction and the fiction is faith. And faith just means believe, 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 blind, blind, blind. And I say to all Christians, well, I'm not a Christian. I don't need faith. You know why? Because I know God. I actually know God with every cell in my body. I've met him on so many fronts. And so that's why people such as me are so open to everything. We're open to inquiry and questioning. And, you know, you can discount this, I say, and discount that and present me with this and present me with that. I'm secure. I'm completely secure because I'm not defending anything. I'm not protecting anything. I'm completely open being God because I'm all things. And so I'm not protecting my insecurity of a box full of lies. And that's what Christians are doing. And that's why I'm always jousting with them. And that's why uh, I'm always having a go at them. Because they are always the ones who are first to have a go at anybody else who is a thinking person. They're the ones that want to bring everybody down. The thinking man. They're the ones that are responsible for bringing the whole world down if they could into their dogma and their nonsense, non-freedom of thinking. If it was left to Christians, would we have anything in this world? We wouldn't even have a fucking tin opener because they want to apply themselves to how that works because it would probably be evil. No hmm. practical application of a mind at all. But you see, where you're coming from is a useful thing and it's a valuable thing because you, you're coming from it from a heart felt sympathetic where I don't have any sympathy at all. None. I don't have none. You know, I, I, I see the world very matter of fact, and um, I believe that everybody uh, is destined for their destiny, earn their destiny, uh, or, or whatever. Uh, and, or, and all I've done in my life, I've looked around and I've seen people pull themselves up by their own bootstraps, or I've seen people wallow in their own pity and sympathy. You do whatever you want to do. Uh, but this world is uh, about earning your merit. It's a meritorious uh, environment. And I don't think there'd be anybody who's intelligent who would doubt that. Everything is premised on merit. We're not gifted any particular thing. Well, there has to, we have to make efforts. We have to fight. We have to go the path. Everyone has to, to walk the path. But we get support. We get support that we, uh, we, we didn't really earn sometimes. This, this is also the point, one important point. If you wouldn't get um, free support, then we would be completely lost here. This is my personal conviction based on my experience. Right, if you get charity, you mean? Uh, yes, people yes I get charity. You, yeah, okay, yeah. And so maybe then, you know, they can pull themselves out of the mire a little bit like that. Maybe that's useful. Um, yes. Um, I mean, it's also ex an experience. It's, the, it's, it's something that God wanted, wanted or even wants, still wants me to learn that helping others is like helping yeah your own self mm -hmm. because we are connected and we we are related to each other even if we don't know it 
we are connected and we are related. Mm -hmm. And in the end, it's really like that. 